Hello everyone and welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name's Tyrone and welcome also to Show and Tell. Always happy to do these videos because it's always exciting to show you what I bought over the last week or so. Today it's all about the Indy 500. And I have to admit I knew nothing about, or almost nothing, about the Indy 500. If I can put it there. I'll have to go handheld on this video because these are long cards. We'll see how we go. So, this is obviously an Indy car, um, but it says first driver to spin and win, and I'm assuming he spun off the track and went on to win the race. Seems obvious, doesn't it? But uh, he did that. In 1985 and Matchbox commemorated it with this product in 1993 copyright 92 so there's a whole bunch in the set and I managed to get a few uh, this medal was 1992 for winner in the closest finish ever and that was L. Unser Jr. Not familiar with the name, not really familiar with the race. Um, I want to guess Nigel Mansell was in amongst it. The Englishman, he might be represented in one of these. But we'll get to those in time. Um, so these are both 1993-92 copyright. So one is Valvoline, number three, and one is Mackenzie, whatever that is, number 15, also with Valvoline on the hood. So I won't open those today, but with the next load I can open them because they're nice, convenient flat boxes. So. I did start collecting these before the end of my collecting days in the early 80s. Um, this one's obviously from a bit later. Yeah, it looks like they're all from 92 and release 93. But we can open this one. Um, because I was a little bit in the dark about the Indy 500 as a competition, did a little bit of research, fairly obvious to understand that it's called the Indy 500 because it's held in Indianapolis. I wasn't 100% on where Indian Indianapolis was, um, and I guessed um, sort of, uh, what did I write down, I thought it was Minnesota way, but it's not, it's between Chicago to the north, Ohio to its east, Kentucky to its south, and Illinois to its west. So a little bit of googling helped me out there. Um, and what else did I learn? I learnt that in 2021 they're doing a double header with NASCAR, which I'd actually be more interested in seeing, only because I don't... Uh, we, we don't get any coverage whatsoever of uh, of these particular cars. We do Formula One, which obviously looks similar with the open wheeler. But NASCARs I was into for quite a while, though not so much now, again, because of media coverage or lack thereof. Um, I do have a few of the trucks. Um, and they come out in these very cool cars. Talking up there. Actually, I'm not sure if that was meant for that car. But anyway, I'm sure the rest is somewhere hidden deep within the collection. Um, a few mismatched ones I just grabbed on the spur of the moment after I brought these home. there. I have 
to do an aerial shot. Got many, many of these trucks. It started out with the 7 up version, which is not here. Looks a bit like that livery. Green and white. And I have this roughly similar. Um, but not the same. So this is my first taste of the IndyCar. Or that version anyway. Always nice to go into more detail in the collection and uh, find more stuff that either I didn't know existed in the first place or just hadn't got around to adding to the collection. So a bit of expansion going on. Uh, keep the ones I got today separate. that fella and where was the one that looked most similar it's the Renault team and this is Formula 1 just to make it all confusing but again you can open the box so we'll have a look it's been sliding off the back of that truck for a bit it's going to play hardball Who won? There we go. That's nice. Hopefully I didn't add to the damage of the box too much. These things come at a cost. Hmm. Does it go that way? Maybe it goes that way. I don't know. I don't know. Looks better that way, doesn't it? We'll keep it that way. And the third one is back to the Indy. Um, Mackenzie again. So we've got a loose one and this one. Maybe it was supposed... No, it can't have been in the same box because that's in a blister pack. So I'll open up this one. This one has managed to stay on the truck. Whether it was just packed away like that before the sale or what. Certainly not dusty, so it hasn't been displayed. Or if it has, it's been in a nice cabinet. It's always the trick with displaying them. You've got to protect them from signs of dust and wear. But that looks nice. That's a really nice solid blue. Industrial group of funds. Sounds like a hedge fund manager, doesn't it? Could be wrong. It's got the little Chevy bow tie up there. Goodyear, Valvoline and Champion spark plugs. Oh, that's nice. It's really nice. What will it go best with? Go best with the black, I think. There's Away. Yeah, that looks good. I suppose we should bring the actual product I purchased and it can be in the back. It's nice. And yeah, that was it for today. Um, I did hunt that one out of the the archives to show off. Um, yeah, most of them uh, that I was aware um, came out in these sets. There'd be a van and a mass car and um, a car hauler all in one box with a celebrity driver on it. I don't know any of these drivers, but maybe you do. So that was my little foray into the world of indie. Oh, what 
I was still to know about it. Um, you can buy a t-shirt for $32. It's probably a $5 t-shirt. <laughs> if you want uh, logos and things on the front and back. I saw a, um, a t-shirt on the web website saying, Is it May yet? Which obviously alludes to the fact that in the in the Indy 500s held in May. Um, and I also learned that 2021 has a, dab, a double header Saturday, including IndyCars and NASCAR Infinity Xfinity series. And tickets started from $20 if you just want to go on race day, uh, on practice day. So that's what I learned. I am a little smarter now. And uh, very happy to have taken a side shoot into the world of Indy. So, nice short little video today to show you what I picked up. And I'll leave it there. Bye.